All right, so what we're doing in here is we're gonna do a, our flake coating in here. Room's about 20 by 20. What we gotta do today is we gotta replace this drain with that one. So we're gonna cut this drain out and then we're gonna install that one in, in its place just so it looks a lot better. All right guys, so we were hired on this job to install a brand new epoxy flake coating. And the homeowners are kind of turning this space from an old garage space into more of a living space. But what they didn't want to look at was that ugly looking drain. So we're going to put a brand new stainless steel drain in here. And you're going to see at the end of the video just how awesome this thing turns out. It was quite a little project getting the old one out. These are old cast iron drains. So we really didn't want to damage the concrete around the drain that much. So we didn't have to fix too much of the concrete. So Luke and I are just trying to cut that drain out, you know, being pretty careful, doing as little damage as possible so we can slide the other one right down in it. The other one is just about exactly the same size, but it's a little deeper. So we're going to have a little bit of work to do to get it in and out of there. And uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Now what I did want to talk about was real quick was if you guys noticed when I got out of my truck, I had a brand new pair of boots on. And I finally found some cool work boots. I got them from Hisea, H-I-S-E-A dot com. Um, I've been looking for work boots that also have steel toes that are really comfortable to wear and it's just hard to find. So make sure, I'll put a link down in the description to these boots. You guys can check them out if you're looking for boots. You can, uh, and you'll see here me, me wearing them in here in a minute. We actually all got them. Um, I, usually I'll wear like sneakers inside. There they are right there. But these things were just so comfortable. I didn't even have to put my sneakers on inside here, so I just kept my boots right on for this whole project. So what Luke's doing now is he's just taking the diamond blade and he's shaving that down a little deeper. And we're gonna we're gonna continue to shave it just little by little. We don't want to go too deep, but we want to get it as flush with the surface of the concrete floor as we can. And the concrete floor actually wasn't wasn't that level around this thing either. It does all slope to the drain, but whoever did the floor there years and years ago really didn't do a very good job. So we're going we're gonna to take our time and just take off a little bit of the concrete and keep checking this thing so we don't have to repair. You know, we don't really want to build the concrete back up if we don't have to. So we're going to shave this down. We're going to end up grinding one side of it down a little bit because one side of the floor was just a little higher than the other. So it was just a tedious little process at first, but it's gonna it's gonna make this whole uh, job go that much nicer when we get this thing in. One good thing about this was the drain pipe underneath the drain was still in really good shape. So we didn't have to do, worry about that. All we had to do was replace the bell cap here on top. Now we get hired to do a lot of epoxy floors. We do, a, we do probably, I don't know, 50 to 100 of them a year. And the floors are in various different conditions. Some of them have a lot of repair to do. Some of them don't have any to do. This one really wasn't. Uh, spalled too bad it did have a lot of hairline cracks in it and we fixed all those before we did the coating right now Luke's just checking for slope on the floor making sure that right around the drain it has really good slope these what you know mostly what these people are got this is just going to be used for foot traffic so and they live right on a lake so when they come in off the lake with their wet clothes or or whatever they're wearing that's wet they want you know the water on this floor to go right to the drain so the floor stays nice and dry. Hey, if you guys are new to my channel, you know, my channel is all about concrete stuff. We do a lot of concrete flat work, floors, slabs, stamp concrete, pool decks, patios. And I put out a couple videos a week about all that kind of stuff, but we also do a lot of concrete repair. And I would consider this kind of like a repair type project. 
And then we do a lot of epoxy coatings too, whether it's flake coatings or metallic coatings or quartz floors. So all that stuff is on my channel. If you guys like that kind of stuff, you know, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. Also, if you like these kind of videos, you know, make sure you smash the like button. Let me know that you like them and I'll, I can make more of these type repair type videos. You can see we're shaving a little bit of concrete off this side. It was a little high and we got it right to where we need it now what we got to do is we got to secure that thing we got to secure the drain into the opening and how we're going to do that today is a couple different ways uh, one of them is using bondo now bondo can be used for you know some concrete repair stuff we generally use it for repairing hairline cracks and the reason we do is it dries really fast but it also dries really hard and if we're going to coat right over it we're going to seal it so we've never had an issue we've been we've been using that for concrete repair for i don't know how many years 15 years probably and never really had an issue now what i'm doing right now is because the, the back side of that drain is really really smooth i'm just scratching it up a little bit to give the we're going to use a five minute epoxy on the back side of it also to bond it into the concrete and i want to give that epoxy something to grab onto on that drain so luke's mixing up the five minute epoxy and I'm mixing up the Bondo. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that Bondo and I'm gonna I'm gonna feather in those edges like that and fill in those edges so I can when I set that drain down, it seals all that up. Really, really nice. And then in the end, when you're gonna see this at the end, you'll see how when we do the flake coating over everything, it's gonna transition the the brand new coating right into the drain and it's gonna look like it has always been there. But Luke's spreading that out. That stuff dries pretty quick, but it, but it bonds really fast. It, it bonds really good, I mean, uh, which makes the whole project keep moving because when we come onto a project like this, when we do an epoxy flake coating, you know, we like to get as much done in a day as possible without waiting too long for stuff to cure up or dry up. And by using the Bondo in the five minute epoxy, it just allows us to keep going with the process. We'll get this floor all ground today so we'll get all the grinding done all the prep work done and then we'll come in the next day and and we'll do the coating on this one you can see how i'm kind of just feathering that up with that bondo and now it's it's that stuff grinds really really nice so you can actually leave it higher a little bit higher than what you want and then feather it down with a grinder and a cup wheel to get it perfect you can see we've started grinding the floor already and now I'm just going around the drain part. And then here we are with the coating, putting the coating on. I'll have another video showing you how we do these flake coatings and I also teach how to do that. I have a course for that down in the description. You guys are thinking of installing an epoxy flake coating in your garage. You know that course is going to teach you everything you need to know so you know step by step to make sure you do it right also shows you all the products you need to use the type of same type of products we use um, that you know it's gonna last a long long time you can see how nice that drain we did tape it over when we did that coating but then we took the tape off for the top coat you can see it looks like it's always been there it looks really nice brand new so these so you get a brand new floor brand new drain and basically a brand new room going in here so again guys thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one